Hey guys, welcome back to some Nautica. Today, we're going to start out this episode by playing this message. Alrighty then, cool. <laughs> Anyways guys, uh, it is just early morning here. We need to get a little bit of food and a little bit of water before we venture on out. Today I'm thinking is gonna be our base building day. As much as I like this spot and everything, oh my god, come on. Let's grab some of the bladder fish here. Here we go, there we go. Let's grab you, let's grab you, let's grab you. As much as I like the spot and everything, there are a couple of places on the map that just look really nice. I'm thinking we're gonna head over to the uh, red, what is it, like the red corally area? I'll show it off in a little bit, or the red grassy area. Uh, we'll definitely head on over there. I think that's where I'm gonna wanna make my base at the end of the day. So we'll check that area on out and figure out what we wanna do. But first things first, let's get a little bit of food, get a little bit of water, damn it. Well, we are gonna need the grab trap regardless. <laughs> Uh, I didn't expect to just pick it up now. Ah, damn. All right. Well, we're going to go on the run. We're going to grab some of these guys if we can. Like, yep. 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 Oh, come on. Really? You. And we'll grab another bladder fish from this grab trap. Okay, let's get that all cooked up and then let's head on out. Okay, so I think the place that we're looking for is to the south southeast, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and what I mean by the red grass is this. <laughs> this is pretty much the area that I'm talking about. I mentioned red coral, I meant red grass, but um, there are a couple pillars and everything like that. And I think. I think it's going to be pretty much the same base that we had in the last series, but I think setting up on one of these pillars would be kind of cool. Now, there's a couple of them. There's uh, this one here. There's this one here. I believe there's an even taller one, if I'm not mistaken. There's that one. Where is it? Uh, right, yeah, these were the ones that I was thinking about. So you have to head northwest, actually. I'm actually liking this one right over here. I feel like it's pretty flat. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, this could work out really well for us. I think this is the one we're going to work with right here. So first things first, let's get kind of a blueprint design and everything set ready to go for this. So uh, let's pull out the habitat thing. We've also unlocked a few extra things, which is really cool. This is brand new, multi-purpose room glass dome. I think that's really cool. Unfortunately, we need enameled glass, titanium, and lithium. I'm going to be honest. I know we have the lithium. I know we have the titanium. I don't know about the enabled, the enameled glass, sorry. So I think we're just gonna build this using normal materials like the multi-purpose room, um, compartments like this. We're not really gonna use too much glass or anything. We may do an observatory, but we'll see kind of when we get there. But first things first is the multi-purpose room. This thing is my absolute favorite thing to use in the game. Let's see if we can get it kind of just sitting right on top. Yeah, that's perfect. We need a total of six titanium. Are you lined up the way that I want? No. Um, and that's what's really nice about this game is you can deconstruct at any time and get all of your resources back. Uh, something that doesn't necessarily happen in Ark, which is great that you at least have this kind of capability and everything. So let's get this guy lined up. Oh my God. Just gotta remember what buttons to click. Let's see, are you lined up now the way that I want it? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that, that's fine. I like that. Uh, six titanium total. So, I know we have this stuff back at base and everything, but I want to start gathering resources from this area. So let's go ahead and grab a total of six titanium. Meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay, guys, so I actually went back to base to gather the resources there instead. I think it's just going to make it a lot faster. I've also changed the base location. So we're still in the red grass. We were actually over there before. But then I saw this kind of cool looking ridge, and I kind of want to work with this because the idea is maybe having two multi-purpose rooms with a pipe that goes through, or maybe we'll do a... Um, 
the pipe that goes in four directions? I don't know yet, but I saw this and I thought this would be kind of cool. Basically what we can do for right now is we can kind of use this as a garage basically for the sea moth. I thought this was actually kind of interesting. So that's what we're gonna go with. I'm liking this. Let's go ahead and construct at least this side because the idea that I wanna go with is, there we go. Oh, okay, so now it'll connect, got it. Okay, yeah, see? That's cool, okay, because in the past, I don't think it had this idea where you can actually start building your structure. You actually had to go piece by piece. Now they don't, they allow you to kind of continue the blueprint. Oh, that's kind of cool, okay. So let's go ahead and delete this. Maybe I want to start deconstructing this a little bit. Uh, I don't want to fully deconstruct you because... All right, fine. I was kind of hoping I can get that whole mechanism and everything back. Uh, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. That's okay. So, let's go with pipe. Kind of like what we had before. Why are you not going? Nope, not what I want. Why are you not going connecting to the door? Ah, oh, that's annoying. Why are you not connecting? It should be this, the L compartment. If I put you here, it'll work. Why are you not working on this side? <sighs> All right, let's de deconstruct you. Let's reset you, and then I should be able to do the rest. Oh, my God. Ugh. They say building in Subnautica is easy. I am making it look extremely difficult. Thirty seconds. All right, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Okay. Cool. All right. So this is how the base. Ooh, we could go another one out. We could literally make this four multi-purpose rooms. Now, I think what we're gonna do is let's loop. Around. You could do a second one on top. That's right, you could do a second one on top. Interesting. I think we're gonna set another multi-purpose room out here if it'll allow me. Let's see, will it? It does, but can I connect the two is the question. No, it won't allow me to connect to that. Interesting. Yeah, like it'll put it out here. But then how would I get that to connect? Yeah, that's not gonna work. Eh, ah, interesting. That's kind of strange, isn't it? I mean, unless getting enough titanium to finish this and then finishing this, it'll automatically connect. I don't know, that seems a little off though, doesn't it? Yeah, see, because that doesn't, that's not connecting right either. So no, that's not going to work out the way that I want it to. That kind of stinks. Legitimately, there's definitely a way where you can get a multi-purpose, multi-purpose, and then a triple multi-purpose. I just don't know how to do it. Oh, oxygen. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's jump back in here for a quick second, but we're making progress on the base here. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but I'm liking it so far. I don't wanna put a multi-purpose here, because again, this is kind of our garage, well, sorry, wrong side. I don't want the multi-purpose on this side, because this is kind of our garage, right? Now, let's play with that assumption, though, and see, can I get a multi-purpose this way? Yeah, see, it won't allow it for some reason, why? Interesting. So it does allow, well, it, it's not that it doesn't allow it. Yo, know, it doesn't give me a reason either. It's not disconnected to anything. Like we can look really far, well, we could try to look really far back. Maybe it's hull integrity? I don't know. Uh, speaking of hull integrity, do we have what we need to actually do that? I don't think we do. Isn't there like a, oh, it's this, reinforcement. That's what it is. Okay, so I wanna put one of those in. 
Uh, if I can, why is it not allowing this side? Hmm. Interesting. It'll only allow the one side. Maybe it's after I deconstruct it or after I reconstruct it, then it'll work? I... Oh my god. It's been so long since I built in some Nautica. I have no idea how this works. I know a lot of people have said that the building in this game is really easy, so I'm just making it a lot more difficult than it probably has to be. But let's keep looking around because we're going to still need a ton of titanium. Uh, we did, in fact, get ourselves some stalker teeth, too, which definitely is going to help. Oh, speaking of which, we have titanium. We can bring it on back to base and then uh, construct it into titanium because right now it's just scrap metal. So let's go do that. Because I think just getting a decent amount of titanium, we're going to be able to kind of figure out what else we can whoop, uh, what else we can do with this thing. Almost crashing into these little things. Oh my god. We do need to get the grab trap set up over here too, which I think is still in my inventory. But uh, speaking of which, let's just take care of that now. Let's get that out of the way. We'll put the grab trap right over here, I think. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you're still in my inventory. So we'll assign you a spot. Perfect. And we'll just toss you on out. Okay. So you do your thing. You bring in creatures and everything. That'll be our food source. Let's head back over to base, though. Let's break down this titanium. I uh, did get a couple of stalker teeth. I think I started on that little talk, but totally uh, went in a different direction. I think it's a really cool process, how to get stalker teeth and everything. You use the scrap metal and everything, they bite it, and eventually they'll drop a tooth. I think that's such a cool concept. I, it's interesting. I've never seen that in any other game or anything. Plus, if I need scrap metal, I kind of just follow them around and they pick it up for me. So, there we go. We got a couple of stalker teeth already. I may go ahead and switch the multi-purpose rooms to glass because I think that would be a cool concept. Or maybe we'll do that on a later base because I kind of want to keep making bases here. Like, you can see the level of progression, if you will. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see what happens, though. But this should give us a total of 12 titanium at least. So we should be able to make at least the rest of this base. Maybe a little bit of reinforcement, but we'll have to see. But I'm definitely not going to go back out there right now. It's the middle of the night. We do have a radio call, so let's see what this is about. High priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attached. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kassar. I said Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, so that's Life Pod 12. What did they say? Life Pod 13, right? That one. There we go. Carrying high priority passenger remains. Interesting. All right, so we may check that out in the morning. Um, I think we're making pretty good progress on the base, but I think heading over to Life Pod 13, maybe we'll hit up the other ones too and see what the reason why we didn't get these done was. Because I will admit, guys, it's been a little bit since recording the last episode and everything with this. So just trying to catch myself up and try to figure out why we didn't bother go going for this one. It's probably because it's 250 meters. This one is 175, so we should be okay in getting this one. So once it hits morning, we'll go take care of this. Um, by the way, going after the stalker teeth and everything, yeah, they definitely did a number of these. So let's get a first aid kit out here. And I'm going to head to my other base, the original base, and get another first aid kit. That's what's really nice, too, is... Um, oh, yeah, we got our second grab trap over here. Speaking of which, let's get some waters again going. Um, okay, I guess just one bladder fish. That's fine. Let's head over to... Two. 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 There we go. Uh, I just saw a third one over here. Where did I see you? All right, maybe I didn't, but we're back at base here. So let's go ahead. While we're here, we can always just make ourselves some water. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else? No, there's not. Okay, let's make some water. Let's also get ourselves that med kit so we can get our health up back up to 100%. And then we'll head on out. But we're definitely going to keep coming back to this base because... Yeah, it just keeps making medical kits for us. It takes a little while, but it's nice having that constant uh, health pack, if you will. So first aid kit, we're at 100. Let's go ahead. Let's drink some water. There we go. We'll need some water in the morning, too. But I will meet you guys uh, back at our new base 
well, I guess new base. Not really new base, but you guys know what I mean. Hopefully it's not getting too confusing, guys. Um, in the morning, so we could see what the hell's going on. Alright, so a quick little update on the base. So it looks like you're able to do another multi-purpose room at this angle. So here's kind of what I'm wondering. If we completely box this in with multi-purpose rooms, or it could be something else that doesn't make a difference. I'm wondering if in the middle here, could I theoretically make the um, mobile bay or whatever the heck it's called? You know, the place where you can put your seamoth and it holds it in and everything? I'm wondering if this is enough space for it to fit. Um, but let's head over to 13, which is right over here, life pod 13 at 175 meters, and see if we can actually maybe find a couple of blueprints and everything. I'm curious to see what we can find here. Um, another thing I'm actually curious about is going by the progression of the story, and if you guys, if some of you guys have not played this, I'm trying not to do spoilers, but... There's something that happens relatively early in the game that hasn't happened for me yet. So I'm wondering why I haven't triggered said cut uh, uh, like story situation. Oh my God, words right now. I'm not sure why it hasn't triggered yet. Um, maybe it's specifically for this life pod 13. Maybe it's because I haven't visited a specific area. I don't really know, but it seems like we've kind of skipped over something uh, specific. At least in my head, I feel like we skipped it over, but maybe we didn't. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm not. I, I don't know. I don't know. It has to do with the island. Let's put it that way. Uh, for people that know, they know. For people that don't, hopefully that doesn't spoil it too much. Um, but yeah, I don't think that has triggered yet, to be honest. But again, it might have, and I just didn't even realize it. I feel like they make it very obvious, though, so, yeah. But, not seeing much here, unfortunately, so no blueprints or anything. Let's see if there's anything in the area that I can grab. There's literally nothing. What the hell's the point of coming out here and doing half this? Like, most of them we've gotten some good blueprints from, we've gotten some, like, you know, we've gotten items. This was just... that. <laughs> I don't know, but anyways. Alright, let's head on back because I do know of a spot that we haven't checked out yet. What the heck is that? Where are you? Oh, is that lithium? Oh, it is. Okay. Wait, don't I need lithium? I do. I need lithium for the whole reinforcements and stuff. So, this might not be a bad area to kind of explore a bit. It's actually really nice, too. All right, we got another radio call. Uh, okay, I assume because, I don't know. This would be kind of a cool spot to make a base too, right? I don't know. I will say, I think it would be kind of cool making a base on these little like mushroom things, whatever these are. I think that'd be kind of cool. Uh, but let's head back to base. Let's hear the radio signal again for the 50th time. See what that's all about. Uh, we're at 45 power too, so I think I'm gonna switch out the battery on this thing, just so this thing doesn't die, because that's gonna be an absolute pain if this thing goes, because I imagine we're gonna keep going further and further out at this point, especially with these radio signals. I was just kind of hoping we would find some stuff. Like, I was hoping we'd get something from that, right? Like, I don't know. I feel like most of them you get stuff. I guess this time, not so much. Welcome aboard, Captain. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's... Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Well, there we go. In 39 minutes and change, yeah, we're going to have a little bit of story be getting involved with this. Uh, yeah, okay, so, all right, I guess I was kind of on the right track. We have a total of 39 minutes, though, until we need to get to the uh, point, which is right on over there. I think we're going to do a little bit of exploring. It's not going to take us 40 minutes to get there. It's relatively close, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to head near our base because, um... There's a place we can go kind of down, um, and I want to see if we can possibly get 
I'm trying to figure out where we can get this, um... It's not the mobile vehicle bay, but the thing that basically will hold the prawn suit, will hold the sea moth, all that kind of stuff, basically. So, yeah, we're getting a little bit laggy right here because not only our base, but because of this. Yeah, I think this is the spot. So let's go on down and let's see if I... Okay, uh, let's see if I know th this is the spot. E yeah, this is the spot. Okay. Yeah, this area is a little scary, but I think we'll be able to get through it just fine. I just need to figure out... Yeah, those guys we gotta worry about. Uh, that's the one... 901. I wonder if that's actually the... Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna be taking some damage here, so... Oh god, this thing's about to break. No, 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 no. Repair it, repair it, repair it. But that's not good. Uh, all right, well, well, we got this guy basically to get us around. That's not good. All right. Uh, there was something I was looking for in particular down here, but I don't think we should explore it anymore. We're at 69 oxygen left. Oh, this is what I was looking for. Uh, was I looking for this? I don't think I was. I think I was looking for something else. Uh, how am I going to get out of here? How am I going to get out of here? Okay. Let's figure out how the hell we get out of here. We're at 36 oxygen. There's no way we survive this. Oh, crap. Yep, thank you. I'm aware. Thank you. Yeah, we're dead. Because I don't even think this is the right way going out. I think I'm going deeper into this. So, goodbye. So when you die, what do you lose? Well, obviously we lost the sea, the sea moth. So that's a bit of a loss, but we can totally remake that thing. Um, nothing else really. Okay, so I think we should just rebuild on the sea moth real quick. That'll give us enough time to still get over there. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. Oh, that was stupid going in there. All right, mobile vehicle bay. I should have left it right at the entrance. And then, okay, so power cell, glass, lubricant, and lead. Okay, glass. Uh, we can do that. We can make the... How much metal ingot do we need? Just one. Okay. Power cell is easy. Okay, we got this. We got this. We can make all this stuff pretty much right now. All right. All right. There's the ingot. Um battery can go into you because I don't want to use a 100% battery all right second battery I believe it's two batteries in order to make a which one are we going to use more of probably this there we go should be able to make a power Cell silicone rubber. All right, I'm pretty sure we have some. Perfect. We have some glass. All right, power cell. And I think we need one. No, 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 that's enamel. Oh, damn it. Made the wrong one. Shoot. All right. All right, we'll drop that in here. We are gonna need, I think it's just glass at this point, which isn't that bad. Still got 34 minutes though, so we still have plenty of time. Glass times two and lubricant. Okay, real easy. Let's get that done. All right, now that should be everything. Wait, where's my mobile vehicle bay? What the hell? Oh, there it is. Okay, I just don't have it marked or anything. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. 
Uh, nope, nope, come on. There we go. Do we have enough materials? We don't. What are we missing? Oh my god, one more glass. Oh, I thought we already had the... Oh, because we made it into enamel by mistake. Okay. Well, a little more searching. We should be able to get this done, no problem. Welcome aboard, Captain. Now we're good to go. There we go. Okay. All right, let's go make this thing finally. Um, I'm wondering where we end up getting more... Oh, come on. There we go. I'm wondering where we get more blueprints from, because I feel like we've seen... I feel like at this point, we should have a lot more than we actually do have in blueprints-wise. Like the... Whatever the room is called that you can throw this thing in. Not the mobile vehicle bay, obviously. Um, I don't know. I, I can, can we get off of this? Please? There we go. All right, we have 28 minutes, though, to get to the other whatchamacall, to the actual rendezvous point, which is going to be over there. Let's see what we can do. Because we, like I said, uh, it's not going to take us 28 minutes to get there or anything like that, but I do need food and water. So, you know what? Let's start out with that. I think I have a little bit of titanium. I do. So maybe let's head back to the, or the new base location and see what we can get kind of constructed and everything. All right. Well, we got the scanner room. And we almost have the propulsion cannon already. Oh, God. Wow, there's a lot of this that we actually didn't scan. Uh, what else over here can we scan? Let's see. You look like the bioreactor. Sea moth fragment. Wait, we have the sea moth already, don't we? Yeah, we do. All right. Not that. Uh, scanner room. I think we just got the scanner room. Yeah, still not the thing I'm looking for, though. Alright, not much else to scan there, but I think it kind of just serves the point of we just need to explore more, because right there, and that's not even far from our base, that's literally that huge structure, and there's going to be a ton of stuff in there, I can already imagine, uh, to scan. I don't think it's what I'm looking for yet, but... Um, we'll get there eventually. I just think we need to kind of take a couple episodes and just explore specifically. But where is our base? Our base should be kind of right over here, if I'm not mistaken, because I feel like we see that in the backdrop of our base. Yeah, it should be right over here. Right there we go. Okay, things are starting to come on in here. I'm not going to continue to build this up yet because I want to get the piece that goes in the middle here where this thing's going to store, and it could also store the, um, the, um, prawn suit and all that, and I want to see how big the thing is, because this plan might not work of having this fully boxed and then the thing in the middle, so we'll have to see what happens. We'll park this right here for now, because I do want to get a little bit of food. Like I said, we got to get a little bit of food for base, of course. Our inventory's full, isn't it? Uh, do you have storage on here or something? Like... I feel like you do. Or maybe that's a mod that I need to put in first. I'm pretty sure that's the mod that we saw, that like storage mod thing. That eventually we can put a little bit of storage on this guy. All right, what's our inventory looking like here? We have a little bit of water. We need water, so let's just drink those. And we'll need to have a little bit of food. Now, I actually realized back at our new, I'm gonna call it our new base for right now, just cause that's what we have it labeled as. I have a ton of food over there. <laughs> I just haven't cooked it yet. It's literally sitting in one of the storage lockers. So I think that's what we're going to use. Once we do this, that should give us enough time to um, head on over to this island where we're meeting this like boat and whatever and go from there. I called it a boat. I meant ship. I think you guys, oh crap. I think you guys know what I mean, basically. But let's get inside. Yeah, here it is. Peeper, 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 peeper. Uh, okay, two peepers, that's fine. Uh, 
Vital signs stabilizing. Did we explore this at all? We have plenty of time, so I'm not really too concerned, but... Did we check out Life Pod 3 already? That's a Sea Glide fragment, so it makes me think that we did. But I feel like I would have gotten that. That that looked pretty obvious. Oh yeah, we have been here. Interesting, okay, so... I just can't see certain things. Alright, and I think that gives us the propulsion cannon. It does. Sweet. Yeah, taking a little bit of time and exploring a little bit more has definitely helped us out. What the hell is this area? This area looks crazy. Oh. Oh, you're quick. No. Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. Stay close to the surface, I think. Let's just go. I forgot a flashlight, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> we're not really going to be able to see much, but uh, this is the spot where we're going to be meeting them in, apparently. So we got 11 minutes and change to work with. I really don't want to explore this island too, too much, because I think that's what we're probably going to do in the uh, coming episodes and stuff like that. But of course, uh, I guess that gave a little bit of a give a um, little bit of a spoiler if you haven't. <laughs> Seen Subnautica, played Subnautica, anything like that. I kind of doubt that at this point, because Subnautica is so old. I think it's, a, what, 2016 this game came out? Um, so I don't know. But anyways, we're going to hang out here for 10 minutes and change and see exactly what happens. All right, so it looks like the sunbeam's coming in in the next few seconds, and something's going on with this building over here. That can't be good. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? Hold on. No turning back now. Positions, everyone. Touching down in 10, 9, 8. It's coming from the building? Change course. Set thrusters to full. That's not good. <laughs> 